comic universe. It's me, the real Manos, and I have some interesting news here. I am going to bring the new unscripted comic reviews I normally do on my channel over to this channel uh, so I can uh, kind of, you know, make some changes and uh, rearrange the furniture over on my uh, channel. So, uh, I'm going to kind of catch up with the last couple weeks of comic books here and spot my a couple of issues that I thought were really interesting I should talk to you about. And I'm going to start off with X-Men number one by Jonathan Hickman and Francis Liu. And of course, if you've been following uh, things over there, things have been blowing up pretty big. Jonathan Hickman has been doing his usual kind of big idea storytelling with uh, the House of X and the Powers of X um, miniseries that set up a new status quo where Professor X has united many mutants and have started a new nation uh, called Kokoa. And we brought back several dead characters. And things are looking pretty positive for uh, all the X-Men. I'll uh, talk about the miniseries on a later date. But uh, right now we're getting into the the uh, series side here. Actually, what's interesting is we have had some things possibly change uh, during the course of events with... Uh, House of X 2. So it's kind of nice that we get a flashback here uh, of a scene that kind of like reaffirms like, no, a lot of the things you remember actually did happen. Um, let's see. The uh, series starts off with a uh, pretty dramatic uh, rescue mission. Uh, they go to, uh, let's see, this is uh, Orchis. Orchis is a organization which are basically racists, uh, human separatists, humans, uh, uh, what do you call it, supremacists. And they are actually made up of a bunch of former good guy and bad guy super uh, organizations like S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA and AIM and so on and so forth. Uh, what's uniting them is their hatred of mutants and their fear that, oh no, we're going to be replaced. Uh, they have actually kidnapped a number of young mutants and have been experimenting them on them. And of course, that uh, brings us to this pretty high-powered action sequence of them tearing through all these guys. Even uh, the, the scientists who came up with this uh, quick way of combating them by de-evolving themselves into ape-like men, uh, who apparently were pretty quickly off-battle taken out by Magneto. Uh, who, by the way, I'll get to in a minute, he's, he's pretty good at this. Uh, they are able to rescue a number of the... Actually, they're able to rescue everyone. Uh, one girl escapes, and I assume that'll lead into some sort of story arc uh, in the future. Uh, now we're able to bring them all back. Everything's great. Uh, let's see, it's nice to see some other characters. I haven't seen Dr. Reyes in a long time. Magneto is being treated like some sort of folk hero. And he's soaking it up and really enjoying it. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Cyclops is done for the day, so he goes home uh, to his family to have kind of a dinner on the moon. He has this moon base uh, where he is kind of like living with Jean Grey, some of his family, even Wolverine is there. Uh, we do cut back to, uh, let's see, to Orcus. And they are doing a mass funeral for all the guys who got taken out during this battle sequence, uh, which is a little bit jarring. You always are used to seeing good guys tear through henchmen all the time, but you never really think about, oh yeah, they gotta clean those bodies up and say goodbye and have a funeral. Um, Dr. Devo apparently is in charge here, and we start seeing like his master plan. He's doing something kind of mimicking what uh, Professor X was able to do with re uh, resurrecting some of the X-Men. And he has something similar in mind. Uh, then the rest of the issue is a really nice uh, sequence of, of uh, Cyclops' family getting together and having dinner. It's actually really pleasant. This is one of the things I like so much about what Jonathan Hickman does, is he is able to explore large ideas, large science fiction ideas, and he does it with such ease and comfort. Like, you know, you never feel like he's rushing, he's stuffing too many ideas, and you're, like, trying to keep up 
Um, no, he's very able to, you know, explode all these concepts at you and then kind of take it easy and have these characters just sit down and talk and explore some and do some showing uh, and not telling as far as like, you know, just minor things about what, what the, the island does for them and all this kind of thing. Uh, very good first issue, I think. Um, if you've been uh, taking a break from X-Men for a good long while, I do not blame you. There's been so many false starts. It's been easy to lose hope on it, but I'm really kind of excited about X-Men again. It's kind of nice. Uh, of course, hey, just in time because Disney got the rights to the movies. Hey, what a, what a coincidence, but uh, who cares? Fine. Look, this is good. Uh, I am kind of all in. I don't think I'll be buying all the X-Men books. I most likely will be sticking with this main title. Because that's been some of the problems lately with X-Men. It's like, what is the flagship book I should be reading? Well, right now it's this, and I'm going to be sticking with this. Uh, the art by uh, Lou is always really great. Uh, I can't wait to see some of these ideas explored. And of course, everything's great now, but you know, hey, this is comic books. This isn't going to last, so uh, we're going to see things blow up crazy. Um, I really dug this, so I'm going to give it an easy five out of five RAM chips. Uh, so, hey, let me know in the comments below if you've read this. What do you think of Hickman's uh, take on the X-Men? Are you excited to see uh, more X-Men? Is it about time that they kind of like, you know, rose back to, you know, their stature in uh, Marvel? I'm, I think it's time. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, you can like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell. And don't forget, hey, I got a channel of my own. You can check me out at The Real Manos. Well, I'll be talking about stuff, too. All right, I think that's it for now. So push the button, Lindsay.